We are now just 160 days away from the official release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker by director J.J. Abrams that is all set and ready to end the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga itself. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now what's really intriguing about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film is going to have a lot of revelations that are going to change our view of the entire Skywalker saga, which may by the way be a good or a bad thing for the fans around the the world. We'll have to wait and see exactly how it's all going to be utilized in the movie and how it's really going to resonate with the fans around the world. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions this is where things begin to get very exciting for episode 9. Now specifically what's really intriguing about all of this is that a description of Kylo Ren sitting inside of Snoke's original throne room that is said to be the abandoned one within the original headquarters of the First Order that was left behind where the construction was never completed, where Snoke left many secrets behind within his throne room that Kylo eventually discovers. It's said that Kylo is watching a hologram of Snoke that was said to be delivered to Darth Vader many years ago, after the events of Order 66. It's described to be a message from Snoke to Vader, where Snoke is informing Vader to go to a certain shrine of an ancient Sith Lord, located within the land of the Forbidden, that would allow Vader to become more powerful. It's a scar that it was Snoke's guidance that caused Vader to become more powerful, and what allowed Vader to discover the land of the Forbidden, which is said to be a place where the Sith first started thousands of years ago. It's said that Vader was looking to become more stronger to overthrow Palpatine slash Darth Sidious, and eventually destroy him, and that Snoke was helping Vader to achieve this goal. It's said that this was also Snoke's plan to gain the trust of power, of, of course, to make his way into the Empire in some way, shape, or form, to eventually create his own order in the distant future. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now what's really intriguing about Episode 9 is that we do know that this movie is going to have a lot of twists and turns just like this that's going to literally change the original trilogy as well as the prequel trilogy. So in this scenario, we have Kylo Ren inside of the original headquarters of the First Order, tuning into a hologram of Supreme Leader Snoke that was originally said to be a message that went out to Darth Vader, guiding Vader to the Lost City, specifically within the Land of the Forbidden, which is said to be a location of the Sith ruins, and a location of where the Sith first started thousands of years ago, and orders Darth Vader to go to a specific Sith shrine, an ancient Sith shrine if you will that would allow Darth Vader to go through a certain path to becoming more powerful. Now the main reason that Darth Vader seeks this knowledge is to eventually become more stronger and powerful in order to overthrow Palpatine slash Darth Sidious. Now I guess that in the end this never necessarily worked because obviously Darth Vader never destroyed Palpatine until, of course, the very end of Return of the Jedi. So you can really see how this is changing how we view the character of Vader and Snoke specifically, and the whole entire Vader and Snoke dynamic of Vader wanting to overthrow Palpatine. It also, you know, pretty much connects to what Vader told Luke when he was trying to turn Luke to the dark side, where, you know, we can destroy the Emperor and you and I can rule the galaxy together as father and son. The fact that he even mentioned to his son Luke, Luke, that he and himself could destroy the Emperor tells us right then and there that this is basically JJ's way of connecting it to that moment. So what's really exciting about this is of course the Sith Shrine within the Lost City itself is said to offer Darth Vader guidance and to become more powerful. Now though it did indeed make Vader become more powerful, I guess it didn't necessarily make him too powerful to the point where he was able to destroy Sidious. After all, we do know that Sidious had a lot of plans for Vader, such as building the suit and a specific way that would actually benefit Darth, you know, Sidious himself if Vader ever turned on him. So you can really see how there's a lot of variables here of how Vader would even be able to destroy Palpatine in any case before the events of Episode 6. So the fact that Vader once traveled to the Lost City as Rey will in the second act of Episode 9 is pretty big. It tells us how popular this location is going to be within the Star Wars franchise created by J.J. Abrams. And at the end of the day, the whole entire Snoke and Vader dynamic, you know, so far in the books and the novels or any kind of other canon material, there have been no hints of Snoke and Vader having an alliance to a certain extent. I don't know if you guys know of any kind of canon material out there that would even hint at that, but if you do, let me know in the comments. Uh, one thing that we do know 
is that we also know that Snoke knew of Vader very well. This is hinted at in the novelization of The Force Awakens, and even a little bit in The Last Jedi. And that's great, because you can really see that they're trying to slowly build toward that reveal. And we also know that the Snoke comic line is going to drop this September, that's going to explain more about his backstory, and more about the training sessions he had with Kylo Ren, before the events of Episode 7. So with that being said, guys, I would love to hear what you all have to say about this below in the comments regarding, of course, Snoke and Vader, the Sith Shrine, and of course, how Vader wanted to overthrow Palpatine through the Alliance of Snoke. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.